Hi everybody! It's really great to see you. I've really missed you. I've missed coming into school. I've missed telling stories in assemblies. I've missed coming having lunch with you. And uh, oh, like many of you, stuck at home. Um, I've missed my friends. I've missed you and I'm missing my friends. All I've got is my dog. Oh! Oh, my wife as well. But also, I've got um, some other friends that can uh, sort of join with me in the house while I'm at home. I've got, here we are, they've been into school before. I've got big Ignatius and I've got some little Ignatiuses here. And uh, they, they don't often come in to help tell stories, don't they? Well, um, we've got big Ignatius here. And um, just to tell you about the other day, we felt very much on our own. Um, dog had gone out, taking my wife for a walk, and here I was, all alone. Well, except for big Ignatius and the little Ignatiuses. And uh, we decided that we would build a castle because it felt as if we were in a castle. It felt as if we couldn't go anywhere. Oh, we could go for a walk, but I'd rather go to a cafe. I'd rather go to the flicks, to the cinema. I'd rather go to the seaside. Oh, I really miss doing all those things. So it feels as if we're in a castle and um, that awful um, disease, a bit, like a, a bit like a crocodile. We can't see it, but we're safe at home. And, and, and crocodile look. So Ignatius and, and myself built this castle. Oh, here we go. Um, there we are. We built this castle. Now, to cut, um, to cut time down, um, I have made one earlier. This is uh, beautifully made in true Blue Peter style. Here is a castle, so we don't need to uh, worry about the wooden bricks because we have one here. And it feels as if uh, being in our houses, it's like being in our castle. Um, because, you know, there's a, there's a crocodile. Well, they're not really crocodiles, are they? But anyway, there's a, there's a crocodile here sort of going after Big Ignatius. And, but he's nice and safe in his castle. And it's a little bit like the story of uh, David in the Old Testament. I've told stories about David. Um, lots and lots of stories. David and Goliath when he was uh, a mere lad. And um, there was in his life someone like a crocodile. Well, he wasn't really a crocodile. He was just a bad king. King Saul, who was forever after him because he was jealous of David and so poor old David it was a bit like being in a castle although it wasn't a castle that he was in it was a cave and he had to run away from his enemy bad King Saul and very often his food his water would get low there he was in his cave with some of his friends and he felt very much alone but the lovely thing about David is that, a bit like Ignatius and myself, praying to God. He spoke to God like a friend. He imagined God coming. Well, God really did come to him because the story turns out well. Um, God came to his aid. And um, a little bit like, let's just put the crocodile down. Oh, just a minute. Oh, dear. Just a minute. Oh, I need to help you. Oh, there we are. Um, because God, here he is, here's God, um, coming. The food and the water's very low, and God is coming, a bit like a, on a parachute, bringing uh, some food. And um, for David, David had prayed, he was praying. Sometimes his life was very hard, sometimes prayer didn't get answered in the way that he wanted. But nonetheless, he kept on praying. Uh, but the thing is that God was always there for him. And he wrote a lovely, lovely psalm, which talks about not chocolate, but a banquet. Because God is providing himself like a shepherd coming for his poor sheep and providing food and water 
like a banquet. A banquet's a bit like a posh meal, a bit like a birthday with lots and lots of food. This is the story. This is the psalm that uh, King David wrote. Well, he eventually became a king. But he wrote this before he became a king. The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. He lets me rest in fields of green grass and leads me to quiet pools of fresh water. He gives me new strength. He guides me in the right paths as he has promised. Even if I go through the deepest darkness, I will not be afraid, Lord, for you are with me. Your shepherd's rod and staff protect me. You prepare a banquet for me where all my enemies can see me. You welcome me as an honoured guest and fill my cup to the brim. I know that your goodness and love will be with me all my life and your house will be my home as long as I live. What a magnificent prayer. What wonderful trust between David and his God. The God who came to be with him and to provide protection from his enemies and food when the food ran out, when the water ran out. And uh, he was always there. And it's just the same for us. Because God is like a friend and uh, we can speak to him just as we speak to our friends in a in a friendly way um, and and he's always there coming beside us he's within us and he will protect us and will build a fort around us so to God be the glory amen I'm really looking forward to seeing you guys take care